What's up guys, it's Tony from Lomo Paint Pong. Today we are talking adjusting the velocity on the Die Rise CZR. And why? Who's the best source for CZRs? That would be LoneWolfPaintball.com, of course. So Mark, uh, let me know what's going on back there. So we had uh, Emmett K left us a comment and he said, how do you change the velocity on a Die Rise CZR? And I said, hey, we should probably do that for him. So let's, we're, we're here, we're gonna do it. I uh, got a brand new Die Rise CZR stock out of the box. And uh, we're gonna talk to you about the velocity adjustment real quick, take a couple shots. We'll change it and then uh, uh, we'll be over with the video. So today, obviously, die rise CZR, you're gonna need a 3 16th Allen wrench and you're gonna be looking right here in the front regulator system. So right up top, uh, cranking it in. If you're looking at it, if you have your Allen wrench, 3 16th, there is a very, it's a brass screw right on in there. If you're looking at it, you're gonna be cranking it clockwise to lower the velocity, obviously counterclockwise to uh, make the velocity go higher. So Mark, I'm going to turn this on, make sure the air is on. We're gonna chrono it first, and then I'm gonna show you how, obviously if I'm turning it in um, clockwise, how it's gonna lower the velocity. So let's see what we got. Let me know when you're ready, Mark. Okie dokie. Got a 277 on the clock. You got a 282. You got a 270. And you got a 272. So what I'm gonna do now, Mark, I'm gonna look, I'm gonna flip the gun. Be very careful. Don't obviously point the barrel towards your face. Take your 316ths. I'm gonna do it a quarter turn at a time. A uh, couple test shots off to the side just to let the regulator reset, and we'll see if it dropped any lower, which it should have. Let me know when you are zoomed in on it, Mark. Go. 253, 263, 248, 263, 259. You want me to bring it back up again, or you wanna go lower? Go a little lower first. Go a little lower, okay. So quarter turns at a time, guys. It doesn't take a lot to adjust these things. And make sure to take a couple test shots off to the side to reset that reg. And let's see if it went any lower than the 250 region. 235, 238, 227, 224. All right, so now we're gonna bring it back up a quarter turn at a time. So now we're going counterclockwise. We're gonna make this happen. Make it regulation again. Yes, sir. Detroit 300. Couple test shots and back on the chrono we go. 262, 263, 259. Let's get it back up around the, the 280 area. Test shots off to the side and 266, 268, 288. 268, I can't tell. It's maybe the batteries on this getting low. Uh, 275, 264, 277, 278. All right, we are back up uh, near where we wanna be, need to be. Uh, you guys obviously know how to do slightly adjustments, a couple test shots for it to reset. So just, just a quick video on the die rise CZR, how to do the velocity. I'm gonna let it rip real quick before we don't, end this. No, don't leave yet. I got another question what? for you from Emmett. He also asked, is it normal for the grip on the die CZR to twist? Yes, it is. It's got a, you're talking the front red grip? I'm assuming yeah, so. Yeah, it's got a double O-ring system. So no matter what way you guys hold the marker, it's got a double O-ring system right in this region here. And you, it twists just like that. That's completely normal. All of those do it. And it is Lone Wolf Paintball.com. See ya.